how do computer processors understand the programs or any command okay computer processors are called central processing units now this is a very deep computer science question i will try and give you a uh, an overview so central processing units right the cpus these are the brains of computers and they execute the instructions and they perform the calculations that essentially run programs execute programs and that's what happens now how does this happen is the question right so a cpu a central processing unit has a number of components there is the alu the arithmetic logic unit which performs arithmetic and logical uh, operations there is the control unit the cu which decodes or which directs operations by fetching decoding and executing instructions so fetching instructions from where from somewhere or from your hard drive or from a flash drive or whatever you fetch the instructions you decode the instructions okay because the instruction will be written in some high level language like python or or or, or c++ or whatever you to break it down you to decompile it to the machine language level and then you to execute it sequentially then you uh, so that you have the alu you have the control unit then you have registers in computers which are which are small and fast storage locations for temporarily storing data and instructions okay then you have a cache which is a very small and fast memory that stores frequently accessed data and instructions which essentially helps to speed up the processing so that's the basic components of uh, of computers of cpus now how do cpus understand programs and how do they execute programs so like i said com- computer programs are little written in high level languages python c++ and whatever else it is and they have to be translated they have to be converted and decompiled into the machine language which the cpu can understand and what is machine language machine language is essentially binary code binary code ones and zeros right we've all seen those ones and zeros but that's what the machines understand so these high level instructions have to be decompiled and convert it into the ones and zeros and then there is the fetch decode execute cycle that is the cycle by which the process by which cpus operate it fetches uh, the control unit of the cpu retrieves or fetches an instruction from the computer's memory from the ram it decodes that it translates the fetched inf- instruction into signals zeros and ones which can be understood by the C- cpu's other components then it executes the instruction it is it is it has already been decoded then you take it to the various parts of the cpu let's say you take it to the alu the alu to perform a calculation or whatever and then there are instructions that uh, is part of the architecture of the cpu that is the instructions that the cpu understands and it can execute every cpu has its own architecture its uh, instruction set architecture which defines the machine language instructions and it can understand and execute so you load a program uh, which is loaded from storage let's say you have a game that you want to run so it's going to be on your hard drive or you can insert some kind of storage device and so the program is loaded into the ram then the cpu uh, uses the program counter to keep track of all the instructions the next instruction to fetch it is done sequentially sequentially in extremely fast uh, in very quick time then the fetched instruction is placed in the instruction register it is decoded and it is uh, decompiled into the ones and zeros then it is uh, then that uh, it is it will then signal the alu and other components of the computer to perform whatever operation is to has to be performed based on that instruction that has been fetched then the results of the operation are stored somewhere they are typically stored in a register or they can be written back to the ram of the computer and so on so there are addition instructions there are fetch instructions there are decode instructions there are execute instructions and then you have these gates you know logic gates and gates not gates or gates xor gates and whatever which are all used in various ways to perform various operations and that is kind of how it works it's a very 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 high level overview that i've given it's fascinating computer architecture computer programming how the computer works at the very basic low level so, so th- that's how computers work so that's how computer processors uh they operate by a combination of fetching instructions decoding them and executing instructions in a cycle and this happens over and over again and the cpus understand programs through machine language instructions which are encoded in the architecture of the cpu and that's kind of how it works all right okay